Hey guys, welcome to NetRoute Academy. This is Adrian. And now in this video, what we'll do is we will configure MyCritic router virtually using EVNG. And our lab will be concentrated to DHCP workbook. So I'll guide you from the start using the EVNG and also this uh, Winbox, which we will configure mostly this MyCritic router. And without further ado, let's start. What we need is this uh, Winbox. So I have already downloaded this one. And the next thing would be is the VMware workstation, which we will have this EVNG inside. If you want to know this on how to install this one, I already have this video on my uh, playlist. Maybe I may just uh, share that one again. And you may proceed to download 64-bit, or if you still have those 32-bit, you may proceed though. Now, let's see, huh? Okay, let's just wait this one to boot up. Basically, we'll just use this IP address to access our EVNG. I already downloaded that one and also key in the username. And let's start. Okay, this is totally blank at all. So the plan here is, wait, let me just uh, get my pen. Okay, this is, oh, it's so large. Okay, this would be my PC, and this would be the Eve NG. Okay, here we will install our Winbox, and in our Eve NG, this would be our source, or the MicroTech will be running inside of it. So we will configure everything from our PC, okay? So, let's do it. This would be our workbook. So what we need is this. Let me just uh, say this one on top. So with this topology would be very simple, straightforward. So, okay, how can we connect our Winbox inside this virtual machine. So we're running inside this migrating inside this uh, virtual machine. So now what I need is an interface that would connect my PC inside the virtual machine. So I just need to click the network, then a management cloud, and this is the one that would be responsible to connect me inside my EVNG. Now, I need to have my MicroTik loaded. Yeah, just a different uh, logo. Save. I need a switch. So I have this IOL. Sorry, uh, Cisco IOL. Just, uh, then uh, we, we have two flavors here, actually. You have an L3 and L2. Definitely, we will use an L2, which is a switch. So I'll just look for that is specific an icon of the switch. Okay, this will do. Can change this one into switch. Next is totally forget what is it. Okay, a desktop. Okay, we need a virtual PC. I don't need to have a very heavy Windows 10. I just want to make sure that it will get an IP address on our DHCP server. And I, and I think this one much better. Okay, great. Uh, let's just move it here. Now let's start connecting all those nodes on our lab. Okay. What I need is interface one connected to our uh, cloud. Now our end of the MicroTech should be Ethernet 2 and the other side is zero. And the next one is E1 and E0. Okay, great. Okay, let's start. I'll just power on our MicroTik, our switch, and our virtual PC. Okay. Our MicroTik will be configured 
fresh from the start. So everything is like really, it doesn't have any configuration inside. So wait, let me just make sure everything is working. Okay. I think this would be enough. I'll just click this one, then it will automatically load. Okay, let's hit enter. Okay, this one, the login is admin, and the default password is empty. So I'll just hit enter. Then do you want to see the software license? Of course, I don't need to see it. Now I want, okay, the system is asking you to change it for the new password. So I might just use an admin again. But definitely, I don't want you guys to use admin because admin, admin is so simple and it's easy to break in. Then repeat the password. Basically, this is only for uh, training purposes. Oh, okay. We're inside already. Now, I want to see what is my IP address for my interface one. Why? Because this would be the IP address that I'll be using to access my winbox meaning to say i want to access my microtech inside the winbox itself so i'll just type ip address hit enter then print definitely it will give you an ip address here this one so type winbox okay now i'll just hit my password admin Connect. That's it. We're in. Now, okay. This is the one I want to show you guys. This would be the PC, right? So basically, if you want to connect this one into DHCP, you'll just IP DHCP. Okay, the process of Dora or discovery offer response. I forgot the other two things, but it doesn't able to get it from the DHCP server. It's really empty. So now I'll show you everything from our DHCP server going to our uh, client one. Okay, now let's start. Let's go back to the winbox. So we'll just follow this one. We'll make sure that uh, we will follow this because uh, this would be your guide to your workbook. Now, Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2. I Okay, basically this one you need an, a, an identifier or a name so that you will not be confused when you configure things. Okay, let's follow. Interface. And Ethernet one would be the one facing the internet. Okay, but on our side, we're just thinking that our, okay, on my PC, is because it's, this one is can be, uh, go to the internet, or it, it can ping the internet, actually. I, I can show it to you guys. See, I, I want to ping Google, just to prove that this is, uh, can go to the internet. See, it can uh, really browse or uh, reach the internet. Now, Ethernet 1, so we'll just uh, change the name itself. We'll just use a very simple uh, an IP, uh, meaning a name. Maybe we'll just uh, use one interface. Click OK. Now, the Ethernet 2. Ethernet 2, uh, why did I use the HCP LAN 2? Because we want to have a, like a ad identification that on our Microtech router, it's a DHCP server, and then this port will be used as a DHCP port. DHCP and two. Hit OK. And everything is set. Now, we need to add an IP pool. Okay, DHCP needs an IP address. So basically, our client will be using this DHCP pool Meaning to say from 2 to 254, it really depends on how many IP addresses you want to use. So we'll just add those pool. Let's go to IP and then pool. Okay, it really depends from your side what IP address you really want to use. On my side, I want to use this specific range. Two, two, dot, then dot zero dot two five four. Means to say that I want to use the IP address or the range of my DHCP would be from two to two five four. Okay. Uh, if you look closely, I don't. Okay, you can use one, but uh, there's really a purpose on 
that uh, that one no? 10.10.0.1 that that will be our default key tree for this one click apply and okay here it is now we'll need to create a DHCP server okay we need to have a network actually uh, you can start create your server first and then uh, create your network it doesn't matter anyway I'll start with the network so okay you need to have like a network that is inside same thing with your DHCP pool because if you wrongly configure those uh, subnets for sure it will not work so it's a slash 24 and that's zero that's zero it's a network okay 24 and then this is the one I'm saying to you guys that's why we didn't use that one because we'll be using it for what the gateway now we'll add the DNS okay here it is and next would be our DHCP server this is straightforward as well we'll just say sorry huh? okay so be DHCP one and then the interface that we want to use that's why we need to like have an identification on those interface because we don't want to guess okay dhcp lan 2 i want to use this one now i need the pool for this that's why we created an ip pool first we're pulling that ip pool from this specific address pool and then click ok next would be the address ip address Okay, we, we have the IP pool, but we don't really have this uh, an IP address that should be learned by this uh, router. So we need to add it inside. Slash 24. The network would be 10, that 10, that 0, that 0. And then the interface that we'll be using is stage VLAN 2. Okay, click. The next step would be oh i think i wrongly configured this way i created a two steps anyway next would be the last one it's the firewall nat okay so basically guys uh on this uh specific wait uh, let me just uh move those things huh i'm just having a hard time to see those Okay, we need to configure our NAT firewall. So basically, what we'll be using is a source NAT. If you want to hide your local devices behind your uh, public IP address received from the ISP, you should configure the source uh, network address translation masquerading feature of uh, Microtech router. So we have a second configuration here, which is masquerade. So basically, Masquerade is a firewall NAT action that is unique under the source NAT features that is designed for a specific use in a situation when public IP address is randomly changing. In short, when the public IP is dynamic. So if you don't have any static IP addresses getting from your ISP, then you should configure it on Masquerade on this uh, kind of setup. So let's configure it, okay? So where is it again? Uh, firewall. Let's go to general first. Not add source not. Then the outward interface. We want to get it from the outside. We want to go out, right? So we need to use one. Then the next thing would be the action. Sorry, it should be masquerade. Okay. Now everything is done what we need to do is we'll just go back here and then sorry uh, it's already open actually I'll just type IP okay we'll just try to ping uh, just to make sure everything is sorry it's ping Okay, not reachable. Now, I want an IP address. Okay, moment of truth. See, it was able to get an IP address now. 
ping it can reach the public internet as well now what I'm trying to say here earlier is that if we will remove this specific configuration inside our NAT it will not work okay I'll, I'll show it to you guys the action I'll just use accept that's it see timeout timeout oh okay let's do some experimentation uh, let's try to use this command I want to show you guys how it really works sorry apologies for this one here's the thing see masquerade makes it work so you need to make sure that your configuration from your firewall side is configured correctly because it will really plays a part if you're troubleshooting something and also if you're really creating a DHCP from the start you need to have those configuration like IP pool DHCP pool network added correctly from your um, network meaning to say that each step should be checked carefully one by one because if those if you miss out something from those guide you will definitely hard, have a hard time to go troubleshoot this one now just to let you know that's it is that so simple to create a DHCP server and a client inside EVNG basically this would be the same setup that I'm doing for the last time if you want to create a to DHCP server from oh sorry we, we need to turn off this one if, okay here's the thing huh? I'll shut down this one because I want to show you something what where is it huh? okay okay I have a two DHCP server here and I, I want to show you this guys huh let's just wait for this I'll open this let me see oh see it, it disconnected this is the first one i totally forgot what's the username let, let me just try my luck admin put, oh great print see it was able to get also the same ip address but we need to change the password here because it's not the same device we're connecting to okay it's masquerade this one it takes me time to troubleshoot because it has this uh, action which is mongle okay in order for me to work or make it work for the DHCP2 see uh, the source I have a pre-routing on the second uh, one so it took me some time to troubleshoot this one guys but if you want to have like a 2 DHCP server make sure that you have this uh, mongle rule that's added for your DHCP2 but the same thing see uh, I have the interfaces LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, that's it. Everything's the same. I just added this second DHCP server. Okay? I hope you learned how to configure DHCP server inside EVNG and have a great day. Thank you.